In this video I'm going to show you how to look for the monthly, the seasonal and the Heinka files. So let's just start with the monthly. As we know the monthly files are released on a Thursday and Monday. So the first thing you would need to do is make sure that you select uh, either of those days. So let's go to the Thursday. And uh, we know as well that the monthly files will be on the 00, zero info data stream. But we know as well that the daily ensemble forecast will be in this data stream. So an easier way to select these files to make sure that we don't come here and we have them all mixed could be to select them by the file name with some filtering. And in this case you will need to know the file name in convention, which as I said in previous videos, it starts with the first two characters as assigned by the dissemination stream. The third character would be specified by the type of forecast. So I'm showing you on the side all the characters that we assign for each one of the forecasts. And as you can see, for the monthly files, we make use of an F. So if we then select uh, our file names, we would know that the first two characters would be the dissemination stream. So I'm going to enter the question mark and the F for the monthly and press enter and then we would have 33 items found. The same thing would be for the files on the Monday. So that would be the monthly files for the Monday. The Heinkas files are released on a Thursday so make sure you come back to a Thursday date and let's get rid of uh, the monthly filters and then we will see that the Hankas files are released under the data stream MFH so we can click directly into here and we will find all our Hankas files and as you can see they follow the file naming convention of dissemination stream followed by an H for Hankas and finally, I'm going to show you how to access the seasonal files. These are files that have base time of the first of the month, so you would need to make sure that you select the first of the month over here. And then, once we're here, you can select the file name patterns, question mark, question mark, L, a star, and that would give you 18 files for the seasonal in this case. If we were either in week 2, 3 or 4 of the month where we wouldn't have the first of the month available as part of our date filtering, then a way to select the seasonal files would be to select all the dates and then the stream corresponding to the seasonal files will show up and then we can come and filter through data stream and have our seasonal files again.